Hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see we're on F1 2014 for another mod video and it's been quite a while since we've done one of these I bet it's been about a year maybe and people always seem to quite like these and I thought you know what we've been doing loads and loads of MotoGP stuff and I've been falling a little bit behind Ooh, so playing the video again as you can see it's a mod by Pedro uh, that's that little video showed there but uh, yeah, I've been falling a little bit behind with some of the videos and I've I've got a lot of League Race videos to upload, I don't want to just put loads of League Race videos out in a row. So I thought I'd break it up a little bit, do an F1 2003 mod, because I just went on Race Department and saw what mods there was available. So we are here in the menu, so let's go to Grand Prix. So we've got all the teams then from the 2003 season, I'm assuming. Unless there was more than... Unless there was more than 10. No, there was 11, wasn't there, in 2014? Yeah, so unless there was more than 11, you got all the teams. So you got uh, Ferrari, you got Williams, McLaren, Renault... BAR, you got uh, Sauber, you got Jaguar, you got Toyota, Jordan, Minardi, and then that's it. Uh, right to the beginning, so we'll go through all the drivers. So we got, oh, we've got the mini drivers, have we, for the pictures? Okay, so we've got, uh, we got Michael Schumacher, Rubens Barrichello in the Ferrari, uh, Juan Pablo Montoya, and Ralph Schumacher in the Williams, and the McLaren is going to be Raikkonen and Coulthard. In the Renault, you got Alonso and Trulli. And the BAR, I guess it's going to be Button and Jack Villeneuve. Yeah, the Sauber, we've got Heinz Howard Frensen and Nick Heidfeld. And then the Jaguar, we've got Mark Webber and Antonio. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name. Uh, it's kind of like pizza, isn't it? So, Pizzionia, I don't actually know to be fair. Um, and the Toyota, then we got uh, Cristiano De Mata and Olivier Panis. In the Jordan, we got Giancarlo Vizicella and Ralph Fir is it Fearman. Again, I'm not too sure how to pronounce some of these names. And then in the Minardi, which is the last team, we've got Justin Wilson and Jos Verstappen, or uh, Max's dad. So, who should we play as? Uh, I feel like we could go as Fernando. So, we'll go as Fernando. Uh, we'll change the settings. I don't want to go on very hard. Uh, I'm not sure what AI difficult to put it on. Flashback just in case we need some. We've got 85% difficulty. I don't really know if that's uh, very hard or not, but then it will continue. So then, uh, I'm guessing the tracks, uh, yeah, the tracks are modded to be in order because obviously you can see Brazil is third. So we've got uh, the Australian Grand Prix, the Malaysian Grand Prix, the Brazilian Grand Prix, San Marino Grand Prix. So they still were similar back then. Uh, yeah, I suppose they did actually. Uh, and then uh, the Spanish Grand Prix, the Austrian Grand Prix, the Monaco Grand Prix, the Canadian Grand Prix. European Grand Prix in Nürburg at the Nürburgring, uh, the French Grand Prix, the British Grand Prix, the German Grand Prix at Hockenheim, uh, the Hungarian Grand Prix, the Belgian Grand Prix, the Italian Grand Prix, and uh, the U.S. Grand Prix. So I suppose this would be the uh, I suppose it would have been at Indianapolis, I assume before. Obviously, it's Austin in the game because you can't mod it, and then the Japanese Grand Prix at Suzuka. So you've actually only got one track missing. Which, if you're looking for like a decent mod to play through, that's uh, very good. So only have to like have one track that's not right. I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, uh, it also says the Ca Le Castellet for the French Grand Prix. Oh yeah, so I, I, I completely glossed over that, but uh, yeah, I'm guessing... I wonder what track the French Grand Prix is. It's, I think they usually put India as the French Grand Prix, but anyway, well, uh, let's go to the Nürburgring. That's uh, also a modded track as well. I'm assuming it'll be the one ported from F1 2013, and that's usually how they do, do it with these. So you can take Nürburgring from there. And they usually have India or whatever for the, the French Grand Prix uh, in these mods because they're usually made by the same guy. So uh, it's a Nurburgring. So they've got all different sponsors, you've got Bridgestone sponsors and stuff. It's all looking nice. So we step into the uh, the cockpit of the Renault. I was going to say cockpit of the Renault, and then I decided I was going to say Renault cockpit, and then I swapped back. So it was a bit dodgy there, but we are getting strapped into the Renault now. And, uh, yeah, it actually looks pretty good so far. Nice job. Look inside the garage, looking at pretty stunning, there's uh, our teammates over there, so we'll head out to the track. I think it's Trulli, isn't it? I, I already read the names out, but yeah, it's, it, it is Trulli, isn't it, alongside us. So we're being lifted off the jacks now, we can head out onto the track. Fifth place is starting then, apparently. Let's see, we got on the trick. Uh, on the on the grid is what I meant to say there. Not too well, but Michael's on pole. Myself in fifth. And our teammate down in eleventh, so eleventh for Trulli. Trulli hasn't got his actual helmet either by the looks of it. He's got a greyed out one. 
but there's a lot of editing to do so you can kind of let them off for that uh, I don't think there's any starting lights but there is uh, you can see the actual starting lights there lights out and away we go off the line we go just Barry Keller on the right hand side the two, well, uh, Raikkonen in front of us and Montoya as well then Montoya's having a look up the inside of Schumacher as we go into turn one. Oh, a bit of contact with Barry Keller there Schumacher's gone wide the Schumacher's lost a load of positions but the other Schumacher's got through to second and oh, we've had contact with the back of Montoya there and now with Barry Keller as well so we've uh, lost both head plates there we lost a couple of elements on the front wing and the front wings weren't too advanced back then so it shouldn't be a massive problem uh, yeah, we've hit both Ferraris already in this race, so that's uh, good. Uh, I haven't played F1 2014 for such a long time, by the way, so uh, if I'm all over the place, that's why. Check the fuels, put back in the standard mix. If you go into the hairpin, locking up a little bit there. Trying to carry the speed, but we couldn't quite. So we got to probably look behind more towards Barrichello rather than looking ahead at Schumacher. Carried the speed quite well through there. Oh, off to the gravel. Let's do a flashback on that one. So the front wing is definitely uh, affecting me a bit. Now look at it. We've got basically a plank of wood from the front wing at this point. I'm guessing this is one of the 90s car. Well, it's one of the 90s cars from F1 uh, 2013, this model. Barrica, let's have a look at the inside as we approach the chicane. I've locked up a bit into the chicane. Made a big mistake, Barrichello's going to try to go on the outside. Here he goes, back up into fifth place. We're going to hold it on the inside of Barrichello. Oh, just keep it in front there. Move to the inside to get a bit defensive on him. So 1.7 behind Michael. Will he be making any inroads ahead? I suppose if there are any inroads made. help us out, we've gone massively off the track. We're going to keep in front of Barrichello though. I'm already going to get some comments about my driving and uh, yeah, I fully agree with you, it's dreadful. Uh, <laughs> but like I said, I've uh, not played the game for ages and I've got pretty bad damage on the front wing, so... I'm not even good at the modern, I'm not even good at like F1 2019, so... I'm not going to be good at 2014. Hairpin. Picking up a late exit, but Barrichello is all over the back of us. I am feeling the pressure from Barrichello here, to be fair. Through this corner. Yeah, I don't know any corner names at Nürburgring, if you didn't realise. In the brakes, trying to go defensive against Rubens. Get on the power nice and early. Oh, we've gone into the gravel. Auto spin. Oh, the camera shakes a lot there. <laughs> so I think we've lost the position to Rubens. I won't re rewind it again. Probably struggle to get stopped here. Oh, that's been a corner cut. We've only got sent to space, and then accidentally corner cut a little bit. So I think it's safe to say we're probably going to stay behind Barrichello. So we've got to watch out for Coulthard now. Go towards turn one. Oh, we've got a bit of hot into turn one. Zach Gala oh, Coulthard's rammed us. Coulthard has hit us there. That's allowed uh, the other Brit, Button, to sort of capitalise on us. Kind of holding around outside of Button a bit of contact Button, but... Yeah, that's a bit more arguable, but... Uh, the crash with uh, Coulthard definitely... Uh, was Coulthard's fault. just turning... I I've gone wide and I still got hit, so... I don't know what that was all about. We are on the final lap, all the rear stepping out a bit there to win its first gear. Down towards the hairpin once again. Oh, big lock up as we go in on the power again. A bit of a train mine, I think both BAR cars are in that one. Uh, oh, dipping away on the gravel, yep. Try to keep it flat out through these corners. A bit dodgy in a uh, mid-2000s car. It's not even mid, is it? It's early 2000s, 2003. Track is ending on the exit a little bit. We got a second behind us. Power Keller's only four seconds in front, so I'm guessing I probably had the AI difficulty a little too high, but you know, whatever. 
good break for the chicane then now. Let's throw it in. <laughs> oh, another warning for corner cutting. A suspension would not have taken that in real life. Kimi Raikkonen wins the European Grand Prix. Not sure who's second in that, but uh, Barrichello's fifth. And uh, it's going to be Fernando Alonso coming home in sixth position there. I'm assuming he's not going to be too happy with that one. Yeah, uh, he's not got any of the winning animations. So, yeah, I don't think he's too too thrilled. So, it's actually a Williams 2-3. Nice really well so, uh, Raikkonen in one then, had a Montoya in second. Uh, Ralph Schumacher in third. Fourth for Michael. I'm not really sure why they do the, um, like the brackets for the... For the like first initial because like you know which one it is just by looking at the car so it's uh, a little bit weird so three cars out then uh Jos Verstappen Mark Webber and uh Olivier Panis all out so I'm guessing oh they they all got through the first lap because they all have their uh, personal best lap times but uh, there must have been a crash on the first lap because look at Jos Verstappen with one minute 50 and a 48 for Olivier Panis compared to like Webber's 38 uh, on that lap and uh, the leader's running in 33s in fact mine was a 36 on my fastest lap so I was more down the uh, the pace of Trulli actually Trulli had a 36 so maybe it was a bit of the car as well uh, perhaps just because uh, it's Fernando it probably put me a bit further up the grid but uh, I hope you have enjoyed that one guys um, like I said a bit of a different video I haven't done one of these for quite a while if you do want to see some more F1 modding stuff as well I, I do quite like to do that just uh, don't do a lot of videos on it um, and again like I said I'm sure there will be comments saying my driving is appalling and it was it was absolutely appalling because uh, I know a lot of people find these videos without knowing you know that I don't usually play these games but uh, yeah like I said I hope you have enjoyed that one enjoy the rest of your day uh, link will be in the description by the way I haven't actually mentioned that at any point but uh, yeah uh, I shall see you in the next one